Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's video is going to be about forensic genetics and here's a problem, the key portion of the autoradiograph from a single locus probe analysis of various DNA samples in a rape investigation is shown in this figure. Samples of DNA were loaded into the following lanes, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you are the DNA analyst, you should conclude that and you have to choose one of these answers. First of all, what is an autoradiograph? It is a technique when we have very little genetic material, we add radioactive uh, labels to this genetic material and then run a gel. And we wouldn't be able visually to see bands because so little genetic material. But when we apply a film which is sensitive to this radioactivity, we expose that film and uh, would be able to see these bands, the position on that film. So basically we analyze not the gel itself, but the film that has been exposed to this DNA with radioactive labels. This technique is not in use in forensic genetics anymore, but it's uh, good to know the history of the development of the forensic genetics and this technique were in use before PCR have been developed. With PCR technique we can make millions and billions of copies of any DNA fragment and we don't need any radioactive uh, markers or labels. We just use ultraviolet to visualize where uh, positions of the bands. So what we see here, this is sample from the victim from the blood. This is sample from the defendant from the blood also. This is reference letter and this is vaginal swab of the victim and of course uh, in the vaginal swab we would find cells that has been shed by vagina and as we see these two bands are exact the same as bands taken from the victim from the blood. And what we see here, these two bands are from the male fraction of the vaginal swab, basically represents sperm. And these two bands are very different from what we see, from uh, what we got from the blood of the defendant. And now we can say that these are two different people. Those one band is the same, but the other band is different. So these two bands cannot come from the same person. This is two different genotypes of two different people. So the correct answer is going to be answer D. The suspect is excluded as a source of DNA in the evidence. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.